We all know elephants for their long and swirling trunks. The elephant's trunk is a remarkable adaptation that combines the function of a nose, upper lip, and even a hand. Elephants need trunks because they serve a wide range of essential functions crucial for their survival and daily activities. Their trunks are incredibly dexterous and can precisely grasp and manipulate vegetation. This enables them to pluck leaves, fruits and branches and pick up grass and other plants from the ground. Elephants use their trunk to breathe. They can raise their trunks to reach above the water surface when swimming or access fresh air in the dusty or smoky environment. Elephants can suck water into their trunks and then use it as a hose to pour into their mouths. This allows them to drink large quantities of water, essential for staying hydrated, especially in hot climates. Trunks play a crucial role in social interactions among elephants. They use their trunk for greeting each other, touching and even playing with other members of their herd. Elephants use their trunk to produce a variety of vocalization, including trumpets and rumbles. Elephants use their trunks for self-grooming as well, such as dusting themselves with dirt or mud to help them repel insects and cool down. Many elephants use their trunks to gently handle and care for their calves, including picking up and guiding them. Yes, painting as well. Elephants in some countries have been trained in creative activity of painting. So as we see, elephants can do a lot with their trunks. But do we have other animals in our wildlife that have evolved similar structures or appendages for various purposes? Answer is big yes. There are few examples of animals with trunks. These trunk-like structures are not as long or versatile as an elephant trunk, but they serve some specific function for these animals. Let us look at them. Tapirs are large herbivorous animals found in Central and South America and Southeast Asia. They have prehensile snouts that are somewhat similar to trunks. These snouts are used for grasping leaves, fruits, and aquatic vegetation, making them effective browsers and swimmers. Proboscis monkeys native to Borneo in Southeast Asia have distinct large noses that resemble trunks. These noses are primarily used for vocalization and are thought to be sexually selected trait, as males with larger noses tend to be more attractive to female. Sawfish are type of array that have elongated saw-like rostrums with teeth. While not used for grasping objects like an elephant trunk, these rostrums are used for hunting and stunning prey, making them a unique adaptation among aquatic animals. Elephant shrews are known as sengis, have long flexible noses that they use for foraging. These small insect-eating mammals are found in Africa, and then elongated noses help them probe for insects in leaf litter and skirvices. Therefore, as you can see, these trunk-like structures in other animals are adaptations for specific functions in their respective ecosystem and should not be confused with the highly specialized and versatile trunk of elephants. Therefore, elephant trunks are elephant trunks. But yes, we have animals with these unique 
feature. Finally, this shows nature's brilliance and our need for its protection.